Hey guys, Ivan here, and we got a couple of very interesting updates in this video. We are starting though with an update of Good Vito, who is not doing very good right now. Who is looking good, who did look good right here at this guest posing, but he messed it up. He messed it up. He did this guest posing right here. He was supposed to compete in nine weeks from now at the Europa Pro in, in nine weeks. It was supposed to be his pro debut. But it seems like he's not gonna do it. Why? Because he hurt his knee in this guest posing. I mean, let me just be honest here. How stupid do you need to be to be doing jumps? To be jumping off of the stage in a guest posing when you're in mid-prep? Look at this. He did this. I mean, the guy weighs like 300 pounds and he's jumping from this 5 feet tall uh, stage here. Uh, he doesn't care, he doesn't worry about a possible injury. What the hell was he thinking? I mean, I guess he got carried away because it was guest posing. Uh, probably the crowd went crazy for him and he was excited, a little bit overly excited. And he messed things up. He, he ruined his prep. I don't know if you're gonna watch this guy on stage. Look at him jumping like a freaking rabbit. <laughs> the guy weighs so much, he's so freaking heavy. And look at him, look at what he's doing. Like, what the hell is he thinking? Like, uh, is he doing parkour here? I know he's very young and he probably got big very fast, so he's probably not aware of how careful he should be with his body. And that's why he's doing these freaking kangaroo jumps uh, here at this guy's posing. But, you know, it wasn't a smart decision. It definitely wasn't very smart because he now won't be able to do his job to compete. And we were all so excited about this. Maybe he's gonna recover, who knows, but I'm not very hopeful. Um, he made this story right here, as you can see, he's in a wheelchair, uh, he's getting out of the hospital. From what I heard, it's a ligament injury, so he didn't break a bone, he didn't tear a muscle, that's good. But, I don't know, those ligaments, that can be tricky, it can take a long time for them to heal. Uh, nine weeks, is that enough time for him to heal up? to actually be able to train legs and to maintain size and he's kind of known for the leg size I don't think it's enough, I don't think he's gonna be ready, we'll see um, yeah, he did all the things that he was supposed to do, now he's uh, on, a, on a crutch and um, he's fooling around, he still doesn't care, he doesn't take this very seriously as you can see uh, now he's gonna do some uh, one-legged squats so yeah, this guy is apparently very reckless um, yeah, he, he's, I don't, I won't say he's taking this very seriously, and I think he should be more serious, I mean, he's a pro now, he's a professional bodybuilder, and he should act like one, uh, so, yeah, I'm very disappointed, I'm very disappointed that he did this, uh, yeah, the triceps are still looking good, yeah, I'm sure he's happy with the way he's looking, his upper body at least, but, uh, are his legs gonna be up to par for him to be able to compete and, like, to look good, I don't know, but then he posted this story, as you can see, uh, and he's still on a diet. Then, from another perspective, maybe it's a good thing that he's not very serious about uh, his professional career. Uh, that means that he's probably like not too serious about life. That he's optimistic. That he's positive. Uh, he he's taking this. He he is having a laugh about the whole thing, as you can see. And uh, that probably means that he still didn't give up. Some people would be desperate and would start binging. But as you can see, he's still on a strict diet. He's eating fish and uh, boiled potatoes and some vegetables. So, I don't know, maybe the doctor told him that he can recover in a couple of weeks and, like, actually be able to train, hard to train properly. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, he looked amazing at this point. He looked so crazy. If you guys watched my previous video about him, you, you, you noticed how excited I was about uh, his pro debut. Uh, you saw my, you heard my reaction. I was really um, optimistic. I really thought he was going to do well. He was going to win the, uh, not the Olympia, but the pro qualifier and go to the Olympia. And maybe someday I could see this guy winning the Olympia. I could see him battle against the top guys. I was really hoping I was going to see him this year compared to some top guys, but... I don't know, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna happen, but you guys tell me what do you think. Alright, next up we got a little physique update of Hassan Mustafa, and as you can see, he did increase his sharpen effect on Instagram, and the contrast a little bit as well, and I think he added some uh, structure too. 
So no, I don't think he improved his conditioning at all from Orlando. Uh, he's going to be competing in Vancouver, bro, in six days. And that's going to be the last show for him this season. Ian Valier on Vuad's podcast said that Hassan is going to go all the way until the last show that is Mr. Olympic qualifier. And uh, hopefully he's going to win one and he's not going to stop until he does. But apparently that's not true. Uh, this is going to be his last show, Vancouver, bro. I'm not sure who else is doing Vancouver as far as the top guys, but as long as there is one bodybuilder out there that is on Hassan's level of muscularity, or at least very close, who is, you know, open, like like Mr. Olympia material muscularity, and uh, like that's, that's probably gonna be enough. If there is a bodybuilder like that on that stage, he's gonna win, because there is no way that anybody can be less conditioned than Hassan. Uh, maybe maybe Lionel Biek, yeah, that's one guy. So if Lionel Biek shows up versus Hassan, Hassan is gonna win. Everybody else, no, no, because Hassan is like never in shape. He, as you can see right here, like he does look kind of a little bit harder, maybe, but the separation is non-existent. You can't see any separation in his chest, in his quads, in his delts, anywhere really. It's a big blob of muscle. I wouldn't say that he's like fat, but for some reason there is no separation. Is it a film of water? Is it just very thick skin? Uh, is he fat? I don't know. Because last year, actually the year before, he was able to get conditioned. He was coached by AJ Simpson, he was very conditioned. He was smaller, of course, he wasn't as big as full, but he won two pro shows. Maybe he wasn't happy with the look, maybe he wanted to be fuller and bigger and he wanted to uh, not die down too hard and uh, this is the result. He does look very impressive, especially in the gym and he is dwarfing everybody on that stage, but you just can't win with poor conditioning. I mean, Phil Klahar, 49-year-old Phil Klahar, who is melting since that Texas Pro who lost the legs completely pretty much, they melted away as it usually happens with guys at that age who has bad stomach issues beat Hassan because he was decently conditioned. He wasn't super shredded. Phil Glahar was super shredded at Texas when he was third after Yir Valier and Steve Kuklo. This year at Orlando he wasn't shredded. Still, he was able to beat Hassan because he was in okay conditioning and Hassan is in off-season conditioning. So, once again, even though he looks kind of hard here, there is no separation, he will not. He probably won't be in great condition and as you can see he's giving up so he's gonna try and do that one more show and I don't know who's gonna show up, maybe nobody better shows up and he wins it, but I don't think he's gonna give his all for this show, I don't think he's gonna be ripped, I don't think he's gonna be conditioned, so he's, as long as somebody else who is in okay condition and similar muscularity shows up, let's not even say similar because Hassan is really muscular, there aren't a lot of people who are on that level of muscularity, but let's say somebody who is decently muscular with okay conditioning, that's enough to beat Hassan. All right, next up, Hunter Labrada, let's see what this guy is actually bringing to Tampa Pro and Texas Pro and what everybody is talking about when they're saying that he has completely new physique, is that true? Well, I don't know, it looks like he improved, especially in that back. Uh, back relaxed pose is a, is, a, is a tough pose to make your back look good, but it looked decent in that one, you saw it. Um, uh, in the side pose, you can see that he's very thick, so he's a, he's a big guy, and everybody is saying that he's actually much bigger in person. I think that's, that has something to do with the size of his head. Uh, he has a really big, really large head, and uh, he, when he's standing alone, uh, in, in proportion to his head, his body looks smaller, but it's actually much bigger. So he does look very good here, I gotta say. Uh, is this like a much, much improved version from last year? I don't know. I don't know how much improved it is. But like, these guys are at a very top level. So it's really hard to notice easily some big changes uh, at that level. But I'm thinking he actually did progress a lot. I like this physique, and in this video on his YouTube channel, he says that he's training, look at the back double, it's very good for Hunter standards. He says that he's training to win these two shows, both of them, Tampa and Texas, and he's going against Andrew Jack, and he knows very well who is his competition, and Andrew Jack, look at the last spread, looks good, right? And Andrew Jack is a really good bodybuilder, so everybody pretty much is expecting Andrew to win this show, but Hunter is determined, and whenever Hunter was confident... He fulfilled his promises, like he was able to beat Ian Valier, he was able to be freaking top 4 at the Olympia, 
and now it seems like he is truly really confident and I think his physique speaks for itself so once again Texas Pro and Tampa Pro are gonna be really good freaking shows this year after Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia those two shows are gonna be probably the most exciting shows of the year I can't wait to watch the battle Andrew Jack vs Hunter Lobrada it's not gonna be easy for either of these two guys I can see Hunter winning I can see Andrew Jack winning we'll see we'll see I think Hunter is more fresh and the Jack competed a little bit too many times in the past couple of years. I don't know if he's going to be able to look fresh, but there are certain things about his prep that are making me feel like he's going to bring something new. The fact that he started working with Christian Sito like six weeks before the Arnold, and now that they had more time together, he's probably going to pick better. And then Hunter, who stopped uh, drinking protein shakes and started eating a whole food for the entire year, and who does look much better now. And Andrew... I don't know if he looks much better at this point so one thing is for sure it's gonna be a great freaking battle you guys tell me who do you think is gonna win if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up and for more bodybuilding stuff like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye